Hey everyone, Hang Tom Mario here. Um, I wanted to talk about Copa Law, so let's jump into the video. Okay, so today I want to talk about um, Copa Law, what it could do to family friendly channels. Um, so basically, um, Copa Law is threatening to um, take away community tab, comments, um, amount of likes, etc. from um, family friendly channels. And if you're not family friendly channel, they'll threaten to um, sue you for like, f they'll threat. They'll force you to pay like forty two thousand dollars. It's 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 just dumb. Honestly, I don't even know why this exists. <laughs> but anyways, um, enough about that. Today I'm gonna count down my top ten coasters at Six Flags Magic Mountain. So let's just jump into the list. Number ten is Ninja, the aerodynamic suspended coaster. My, um, this is the only aerodynamic suspended I've ridden. And honestly, let. Oh, by the way, shout out to CP Coaster Fan and Courageous Coasters for guess for for trying to guess the top my top five at at Magic Mountain. No, sorry, that's in my next video. But anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to them for guessing my top five manufacturers, which will be my next video. Um, so number nine is going to be Viper, the Aerodynamics uh, Mega Looping Coaster. Aerodynamics, oh my gosh, I just love Aerodynamics coasters, and Viper is a very good one. Um, but there's another one way higher on this list. Uh, number eight is Scream, the B&M Floorless Coaster. And I'll say this is, this is my least favorite Floorless, as of right now. Um, behind that is Superman Krypton Coaster. And, honestly, I really like, like Superman Krypton Coaster, but Scream is kind of mediocre compared to that. Um, so, let's, so number seven is going to be Superman Escape from Krypton, the Intamin, um, Reverse Freefall. And, I expected this to be forceless, but oh my gosh, this was pretty intense, I'll say. Um, I rode in the very back row, and not the one where you're facing forwards, but like, in the back where, where you get to the highest of the spike. But yeah. Um, number six is Apocalypse, the GCI winning coaster. Now, I haven't ridden Apocalypse since, since March of 2018. And hopefully, I'll get to rewrite it soon. So now, let's, we're in the top five. Ready for it? Well, here we go. Number five, Riddler's Revenge at Six Flags Riddler's Revenge, the B&M stand-up. Riddler's Revenge, oh my god, this is very, very intense for a stand-up. It is definitely top five worthy at this park. Number four is the one and only Full Throttle, the Premier Rides Multi Launch Coaster, and I'll s and this is my favorite Premier Rides coaster by far. It has a great, great first launch, which can be kind of underwhelming though. Um, a very good second launch and a in an, an, an intense third launch. Number three. Now we are into the top three. Number three is Tatsu at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Tatsu. Tatsu, the B and M flying because they're oh my god, only B and M player I ridden, but oh my god, I love these things. <laughs> that pretzel is so so intense. I don't even. Sorry for the interruption. Just just got a phone call. But yeah, so yeah, so Tatsu is amazing. Num number two is Twisted Colossus, the RMC iBots coaster of the park. Twisted Colossus is very good, but it is slightly overrated, I'll say. It's my least favorite RMC out of the three I've ridden. And, yeah. Um, but number one is X2, is the, which is the Aerodynamics 4th Dimension Coaster. Man, this thing is so good. It just makes you lose your entire sense of direction. But anyway, if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe, peace out. One.